Shalom. All praises go to the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahusha, Basham, Arawah, Kurash, Dabalana, Santere, all the apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, elsewhere upon the planet Earth, you have these type of things going on. I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can check this video out for yourself. This is basically just to show you what's going down in the world. Meanwhile, people are focusing on, you know, music and trying to get out there again. Meanwhile, Esau is busy trying to shut down this whole planet Earth. And you know that people are not happy about it. You know, as you can read here, what's going on. And these people are giving their accounts of what they are going through in Australia. And, uh, you know, police in Australia beating protesters for forcing vaccine RT news. As you can see, these articles, that's what they say. So you can clearly see that around the world, people are here in France. Around the world, people are, people are actually trying to fight against the elites of Esau, but to no prevail. They're not really going to win. That's why Second Esther chapter fifteen said, "They shall there shall be sedition among men." Where is it here? But it's going to get there slowly but surely. It's going to get there. Second Esther chapter fifteen verse. And where is it again? Yeah, Second Esther chapter six, fifteen verse sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're going to do it. And sedition means conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. And in this case, it's the monarch of Esau and his elite family. Because what is a monarch? A monarch is what they have, what they've been doing. Monarch definition, right? They also use the, that that butterfly for brainwash. But anyway, a sign of brainwash. Monarch, a sovereign head of states, especially a king, queen, or emperor, right? And the kings and the queens and the emperors of the planet Earth are starting with the 12 Illuminati families. The, the bloodlines. <laughs> yeah, in mockery, an imitation of the Heavenly Father's 12 tribes, Satan blessed 12 bloodlines. One of these bloodlines was an Ishmaelite bloodline. What? No. The, 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 the scripture says that Ishmael shall be blessed in the book of Genesis chapter 17. He's not one of the Illuminati people. These are all Edomites, man. They're trying to see how they're lying to you. They're trying to throw you off. There's a book called uh, 12 Illuminati, where's the book? Yeah, this is it. From the, this guy, Fritz Spritmeyer, Springmeyer. And they locked him up because they said he raped a girl. Really? These are the ones. You got the Astors, you got the Bundys, you got like Al Bundy, you got Freeman, you got Reynolds, Coffins, Russell, and whatever, Kennedys, you got the DuPonts, you got Lee. I think those were Asian, but um, I think it's fathered by Edomite, but they look Asian now. That's why they love Asian people so much, and that's why Asian people love them so much. Rothschilds, Van Dunn, and the Rockefeller, right? Because, uh, let me see, the Lee family. I, I, I don't need to look them up. The point is that I was thinking of something. What was it again? 13 satanic blood families. Let me see. Yeah, 13. Right. The 13 most powerful families in the earth. You can look uh, other information up concerning these things. I'll try and put them in the description box. So you can check it out for yourself. But then uh, going on, as you can see here. 
yeah, I'm gonna randomly start uh, stopping the video because uh, you know people are busy here. Drilling. Right. So it says the book of. Where am I reading again? No, not this one. It says here, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. We are not ignorant of the things that they're doing, right? Because it says right, it shows right here that uh, wait here. What are what are, what does it mean with devices? Lest Satan should have an advantage of us, because if you don't know what's really going down, he has an advantage of you, over you, right? And we are not ignorant of his devices. What are his devices? What does devices mean here? Greek thirty five forty. Greek 3540. This is weird because it's shaking the whole time. But then, uh, right, it says a mental perception, thought, an evil purpose, that which thinks, the mind, thoughts, and purposes. So we're not ignorant of his thoughts. We're not ignorant of the things that he's thinking of because we know about it. You know, because there will be sedition among men because. You know, these Edomites are going to fight their own kings and their own princes and their own nobles. Starting with these, uh, starting with these cops, for example. Because you have these idiots that are working for the elites and they're actually thinking that they're doing something right. Here it is, you have the majority of the people on the planet Earth fighting against these, these, these laws. Right, fighting against these laws that they set up. And then they are setting up even more and more, thicker and thicker. So it says here, Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of Yahweh, which is this knowledge. If you read on, then you will see, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. So that you, so that you will be protected by Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Now it says here, they, they, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So what does these wiles mean? Which is thirty a uh, Greek thirty one eighty, Greek thirty one eighty, cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery, which is also in the mind, because these are things that you conjure up in your mind. Cunning arts, deceit, craftiness, trickery, all of the mind of Esau in this case. Second Peter chapter one verse sixteen. For we have not followed cunning device for we have not followed cunningly devised fables one of the cunningly devised fables is that the uh, flying reindeer nonsense but these are cunningly devised fables also you know trying to trick people into doing the 1984 thing you know the 1984 thing windows 1984 going on so uh, yeah so this 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 is loose from the explanation that i gave is loose from the rest of the sentence but then uh, it still goes into it for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our lord Yahweh shai mashiach but were eyewitnesses of his majesty because in these times there was actually following after f cunningly devised fables which were these so-called gods because they called, they called uh, Paul Jupiter. They called Paul Jupiter, right? Wait, 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 let me read it. Acts fourteen and twelve, and they called Barnabas Jupiter, and Paul Mercury's, because he was the chief speaker, and Jupiter is basically Satan. gods and demons demonic paradise jupiter also known as jove is the roman god of sky and thunder which goes into i think zeus right and then you have the other one which is man i can't wait to torture fucking devils man the 
god of trade. Money, mer money, and traveling. All that, that type of nonsense. This is another devil. And then you have uh, Jupiter. Which is another devil. Yeah, here. Zeus. Right. The Romans. The Romans version of, of the Greek Zeus. Of the Greek Zeus. Right. Okay, that, that nonsense. So they was following after those type of things, the f cunningly devised fables. When, but we came with this, our, our, uh, but our people came with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And the, that, that's not a cunningly devised fable, you know. Another fable is the flying reindeer thing. It's very cunningly devised because it goes into Satan worshiper, worshiping. Isaiah 33 and 6 And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure because if we did not have this truth we would be bugged out like these people. You know, not knowing what to do laying on the ground fighting the government. Meanwhile, we should know mean, Meanwhile, we should Fucking devils, man. Meanwhile, we should know that we should wait. You know? We, we, we should be. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we should wait for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai seven nine and three, and three and three and eight. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey, and these Edomites are the prey, and the other nations, and the other nations also. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. To pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So we waiting for this, right? So that's why the Lord said, don't participate in this. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. So we are not actually tripping because we are actually stable in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Because he said that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. Stability. The state of being stable, firm, steadiness. We're not wonky wonky of uh, staggering and stuff like that. We're stable in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? And also because we know that in uh, 7 I 1 and uh, 14, the day of the great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And it ha and hasten it greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. What is the voice of the day of the Lord? The voice of the day of the Lord are here. Daniel chapter 9, verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our power to walk in his way, Elos, which he set before us by his servants, the prophet. You see? Obey the voice of the of your Yahweh their power and the words. Okay, da 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 da. Mm. Hosea, Hosea also, if I'm correct. Hosea 12. Yeah, was it Hosea 12? Yeah, Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. Because that's the voice of the Lord. He, he has an actual voice also. As mentioned in Matthew 17. Matthew 17. Where it says that. Seventeen and five. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, "This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him." Which Yahweh was talking about, his beloved son Yahweh Shai. So he has an actual voice, yes, but the voice of the Lord are these, the prophets. That's the other voice of him. I have also spoken by the prophets. And have multiple of multiplied visions and use simultudes, which is similarities, by the ministry of the prophets, right? By the servitude of the prophets, because the, the prophets come to serve. Who do they serve? The people, the Israelites. The work or vocation of, of ministry of, uh, in this case, Shahal Basham Yahushai.
It goes to the word minister. Okay. Minister. Basically, it says to serve. Attend to the needs of someone. That is the hit. Her doctor was busy ministering to the injury, injured. So, yeah, the ministry of uh, the prophets, right? So, that's the voice of the Lord. So, it says here, Zephaniah 1 and 14, The great day of Yahweh is near, it is near, and hastened, hastened it uh, greatly, because it's getting very close, man. You know, it's getting very close. All the, look, look at it, man, look at it, you know what I'm saying? All these countries, you know, they're all gagged up. It's gag order, man. They on a gag order tip, right? It 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 hastened greatly, man. The day of the Lord, right? Even the voice of the day of the Lord, right? The prophets is coming out, man, telling you what's really going down. You know, you, you it, it, then shall they know. We gonna find out. Ezekiel chapter two also has it. Ezekiel 33 and 33, Ezekiel 2, Ezekiel 2 has it also, where it says that, then, um, Ezekiel 2 and 5, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, so it doesn't matter if you listen or not, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them, so you're going to find out, man, once everything comes to pass, you're going to be like, damn, he already, they already told us, starting with the other apostles on down, out of America until all over the place. Here, Europe, Australia, you got brothers over there, you got brothers in West Africa, you got brothers in South America, you know, England, you know. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this was come, uh, when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, it will. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. So when all these things come to pass, then the people shall know, like, damn, they, 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 they really were, they really were actually prophets. And a prophet is not something special. It is actually, but not, you know. It says here, uh, definition. A person regarded as an inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of Yahweh Basha Meoshai. That's a prophet, basically. Right, you have a lot of prophets, which teach for gain, and uh, you know, profit, a financial gain, especially the difference between the amount earned and the amount spent in buying, operating, or producing something. You have a lot of people that teach for money. You know, on a fame tip, or teach for fame, or teach for bitches. I have seen this. I have seen this. You got dudes trying to pick up chicks with scriptures, and it works. It really works. I seen pastors, wicked pastors do it. But I seen guys that call themselves, you know, Israelites, yeah, you know? And uh, they're doing it too. And also, in, uh, then shall we know who are my chosen. Yeah, here. Second Ezra 16 and 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Gold in the fire. So the chosen ones are going to be made beautiful. Just like how gold is made beautiful in the fire. And that fire is going to come upon the whole entire world. But the Lord is going to keep the ones that he loves safe. Revelation 3 and 10. 10, 10. Then, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is that uh, 1984, and also the RFID chip, which is the market of right this one, <laughs> that word, Marky Marky, right. Now it says here, where is it again? Yeah, they, 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 I don't know. They're scared because of the words that I, that we use in. Right, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. But it says that because thou hast kept the word of my patience, because we have been patient waiting for him, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That means it's going to come upon the whole world, but the Lord is going to protect you from that. 
you know, basically because we keep his patience, right? Woe Ecclesiastes 2 and 14, yeah. That's all. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when Yahweh shall visit you? You're going to die because you lost patience. We're supposed to have that patience. And, um, you know, and it's uh, also in 2nd uh, Second Second Peter 3 and 19. Or was it 3 and 9? Yeah. Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise. We need to wait. As some men count slackness, because I've, I've, I've seen guys in this camp talking about, man, no, it's taking too long, man. Oh, no, I'm doing good. Yeah. But it's long suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But they're going to perish because all is not going to come to repentance. But that's not what the Lord wants. But these people are very stubborn as you read it in Ezekiel 2, and they're going to die for it, right? So, Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of Yahweh is near. It is near, and hasten greatly. Hasten it greatly. Even the voice of, Yah of the day of the Lord, which is brought to you by the men of the Lord, the voice. It's getting nearer and nearer. More and more Jacob descendants are waking up and starting to teach the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. So even the tough guys are going to cry like a bunch of females. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. That's what's going to happen. You can read the rest for yourself. Going back to uh, Zephaniah 3. and uh, I already read this. Right, going back to over here. Isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So with this wisdom and with this knowledge that we have of Yahweh Bashem and Hashem of the scriptures, we're actually stable minded because we're not actually in panic mode like these people. All bucking up and bugged out and stuff like that. They don't know what the hell is going to happen. They have no secure future in their mind because they're thinking like, yeah, we want jobs and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't know where the next meal is going to come from because Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahashai, said that. Uh, what am I looking for again? Uh, what am I looking for again? Let me delete these things. Yeah, I'm going to delete later. There's a cartoon, by the way. Oh, no, no. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Isaiah 65. It says. 14. Behold, my servant shall jing f sing. <laughs> sing jing. Verse 13. No, 11. Isaiah 65, 11. No, 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 12. Sorry. Therefore, will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil befall mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh the power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Because what the, the thirst and the and the and the um, the thirst and the, and the and hunger, because this is what they're doing. Arranging a coronavirus injury passes to go into bars and restaurants. So now it's about bars and restaurants. So no alcohol and no and food and stuff like that. So they're trying to block you from basically getting food. But you shouldn't be eating in a restaurant anyway. You should be making your own food. But this is just a start because in South America, you can't come up in the stores Yeah, whatever. You gotta watch out for these uh, fact checks, the devils. Yeah, here. Uh, 
unvaccinated people may face what may um, uh, no, unvaccinated people more restriction in the future. Yes, that's what they want to do. They want to take away your. Yeah, Netherlands reopened as a, that's in September. September, sorry. Yeah, whatever. They're setting up the people against the people, but it is the government that's doing it. Anyway, they they're busy with that. But the point is that they're gonna shut down the access to food because they're gonna basically starve you to death. And then Yahweh Basham is gonna he's gonna take care of us, so we we shouldn't be really worried about not even worried, not even really. We shouldn't be worried about that. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their times and strength of salvation. So the wisdom and knowledge is going to be the strength of our salvation. That's actually going to help us. Because just like Yahweh I said, thy faith hath, hath made thee whole. Thy faith hath saved thee. Right? The faith of who? Yahweh Basham Yahweh The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right? The fear of the of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. So when you fear Him, He will give you the knowledge. Hosea four and six: My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Right? You need that knowledge, or else you're gonna get destroyed, because Thou has rejected knowledge. Because when we talk to you about Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, you finna go celebrate the flying reindeer, man. And they're actually really doing that. That's why I mock them. I, I tell them what it is, and then. A lot of people actually laugh when I say that. Like, hey, actually, you're right. It is stupid. Because <laughs> I say it in a funny manner. Like, you know. I say it to make them think. Like, you know. You know do you celebrate flying reindeers? Yes or no? They have to say yes. Because that is what they do. If they celebrate Christmas, then everything that comes with it, you celebrate. You can't say like, oh, this I do and this I don't. Shut up. You're lying. You're being a demon. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's like this. Uh, for example, and I gave him another example. Uh, would you give Hitler a quarter? No, no, no. That's not that good. Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Mm, do you support this group, for example? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But Hitler supported that group also. <laughs> so you support Hitler? Then I mean, you're you're joined. You know, stuff like that. Hitler is not a bad guy to me. A, to them it's a bad guy that's why I use him you know I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power Yahweh I will also forget thy children that's why a lot of Jakes are dying Proverbs 1 and 7 the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction they don't want to be told what to do in Yahweh a direct a direction or an order detailed information about how something should be done or operated and that something is the, the this truth Yahweh Basham Yahshai the, the, the law of Yahweh Basham Yahshai but you know what type of instructions they really do listen to this here uh, the, the government in uh, in NL in NL which is Holland Netherlands Face masks mandatory in several places. That those type of those type of uh, instructions they follow. They also follow another instruction, which is uh, put on your seatbelt. It doesn't matter what you think. I say so. It's your safety, right? No, you're my property, and I. They don't do it because they like you. They do it because they want to be able to find you when you don't do it, because they don't care shit. They have a plan of uh, depopulating the planet Earth anyway. So, which is the Georgia Guidestones, by the way. What the fuck are they doing? Anyway, you see this little girl? It's actually here. Mm. Back in the days, I never, I never saw the little girl. But now I know that they're doing that on purpose because you have this bull here and then you have this so-called fierceless little girl. My man, 
the fierceless little girl represents a sacrifice. As you can see, it looked like a, a damn penis or something. I don't know. Which is here. Oh, that. Is that the idol where the people would give children to burn and as, as a sacrifice? That's what they would do. Molek like then and now. Here. Then they would burn the child here. Offer it up to their god Molech. Child sacrifice, Molech. Here. That's what that's what they were doing. And the word Molech means king. It is actually Malak. Mm, but anyway. They, it has different names. The Greeks, the Romans named them all different. And uh, Molech and uh, what you call that thing again? And, um, and, um, modern day Molech is this, which is this Planned Parenthood here. This is what you do modern day, modern day Molech, which is sacrifice your children, which is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel 16, and also in the book of Psalms 106. Yeah, I can get that real quick. I wasn't actually want to. Psalms 106, and you can read it the rest for yourself, and just go to the to the point. And they shed innocent blood, even the blood. Uh, Psalms 106 and 38, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. So the land is polluted with blood, all the, all the abortions are being committed, right? And the Lord is going <laughs> to, he's going to do something beautiful. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 20. Moreover, thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters, whom thou hast borne unto me, Yahweh, and these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured, is this of thy whoredoms a small matter? It's not a small matter doing a plant, a doing an abortion. It's not a small thing. That thou hast slain my children and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them. And that fire was that fire of Molech. It was burning them. Nowadays, Molech, you have... Uh, Bohemian Grove Molech, which is this now, an owl. Where is it here? So called shaped as an owl. What's it again, man? Where is it again? Owl. Here. Or oh, let me just put in the Illuminati sign. Yeah, you got this, but then the owl on the dollar bill, for example. You got an owl on the dollar bill, which is this uh, magic uh, token over here, this little owl here. And then you have uh, owl layout from the top view. No, you, um, street, street. Here, as you can see, you can see the owl. I'm looking for a better one. This is another uh, shop theories, Molag. You can see the owl. Here you can see the owl, which is what they worship which is another form of Molek and then um, uh, owl, owl tattoo on Drake I can't figure the name out but he put an owl tattoo on him which is uh, it goes to the um, just a satanic worship thing man 
I forgot the name. The reason why they have the owl is because the owl can see in the darkness. So they're all seeing. And they uh, push darkness upon the people and they are, they can see. And the people don't because the people are in gross darkness. Anyway, <clears throat> enough of that. Now it says here, Psalms 33 and 10. Yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. So all this here, what they're trying, is going to be smashed by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Psalms 59 and 5. Thou therefore, O Yahweh, power of host, the power of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Salah. This is what we pray for. To have him, to let him not have mercy on these Edomites and all these other nations. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Those uh, decrees are laws. An official order that has the force of law. They're forcing you to do certain things that you don't want to do. All for their agenda. For their ways upon the planet Earth. My, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Because they're devils, that's why. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. That's what they're doing. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, against this family, in this case, it was actually Jake's. But nowadays, 2,000 years later, it's Esau. Against this family, Edomites, do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks. You're not getting away from this punishment, uh, Esau. Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. Haughtily is proud. And he's the most proud. In that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with doubtful dolt, lament, uh, lamentation. So... We're going to take up a, a Proverbs against them, a parable against these devils and say, we be utterly spoiled. So that's basically what the Jakes were saying. But now the Edomites are going to say it. He had changed the portion of my people. How had he removed it from me? All your blessings are going to be removed from you, Edomites. Turning away, he had divided our fields. And we're going to divide your fields just as how... Our fields was divided. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. Because these Edomites, they think that the Lord is down with them because of all the things that they're doing and they're getting away with it. Psalms 50 and, and 16. But unto the wicked Yahweh saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, which is the Bible? And they're claiming to be Christians and stuff like that. Seeing thou hatest instructions. Where is the instructions? In the Bible. They hate the Bible. And casted my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consents with him. Contendest with him. Consentence with him. And has been partaken with the partaker with adulterers, right? Because a female that commits adultery, she still gets the house and the money and stuff like that. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth mischief, deceit. And also mischief. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. We are Jacob. Esau is slandering us. These things thou hast done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest, here it comes, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. So Esau think the Most High is down with him. But I will reprove thee, and set them, the, the Israelites, in order before thine eyes. That's what Yahweh Basham Yahushai is doing now. Micah 2 and 5. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. So back in the days, none of us would be stable in the Lord because casting a cord, it's stability. Like when you have a ship and then you cast a cord, then the ship is uh, quite uh, still. It doesn't float off. So Esau thinks that he's going to actually, he, he already thinks it. He thinks like the Lord is with him and the stability of the Lord 
uh, made him made him stable you know the stability of the lord is with him but the most high is going to prove you wrong he's going to set us up in front of your eyes prophesy ye not say they to them that prophesy they shall not prophesy to them that they shall not take shame so back in the days the israelites they didn't want the prophets to prophesy against them or else it would be shame because then you would be exposed like yo don't commit adultery don't be a sodomite don't be a whore don't be a slut don't do this don't do that you know what i'm saying you would be ashamed if somebody had to tell you that that's why they, they killed them they murdered all the prophets and they murdered the, the the apostles they murdered them all they don't like what they're saying right but this time the lord will turn around and kill you and he will use Edomites to kill you. And then the Edomites that are left over, you're going to go into slavery under the Israelites. Because the Most High is then going to use the remnant of his people to, to torment you. Just like in uh, Luke 16. You are going to be tormented. Right. Last but not least, you have this song let's go brandon banned from youtube all over the place so if you say anything against these people right they're taking your stuff down you know because it says here and uh, uh, now banned is banned here and, uh, it's banned new york post you no know, facebook is not changing its policy to uh, ban and, uh, what 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 Great. Facebook to change his hate speech policy to include posts that say let's go Brandon so now if you type in this word let's go Brandon then you know they're, they're, they're blocking your shit your, your comment this shows you that they're going toward that new world order type thing which is then claim everything and if you say anything they're gonna mess you up can you imagine if you have a RFID chip they're not just gonna actually block you on Facebook or whatever they're gonna turn your chip down now you can't eat because they want that money on that chip you know what i'm saying they want to turn your chip off you know youtube deletes rappers let's go brandon song canada did not ban the ban use of let's go brandon whatever oh well, you gotta watch out for the fails or the, the, the fake check no 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 youtube is doing it and they're more powerful than countries because you gotta understand listen canada right they can only ban a certain thing in Canada, right? But YouTube can do it worldwide. He can do it in 55 of the freaking 100 countries. They can ban something. 100 countries, they have jurisdiction. They have power to do that in 100 countries. Canada can only do it in one country. For example, in, uh, let me see. Age of consent, uh, Europe, which is sexual, right? Age of consent, sex. You are allowed to have uh, sex with a 14-year-old if you're 18, uh, to, to 18 or something like that, with a 14-year-old, right? But in the Netherlands, you are allowed to have a sex with a 16-year-old, right? In Spain, you're allowed to have 15. And I forgot what the, what the thing was here. Let me see. Uh, 13 if age difference is less than three years yeah if you are 13 here in Italy you can have a, and, and then you, you have a boy or a girl that is 16 they can have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that's 13 years old right but in here is just 16 here's just literally 15 here's 14 and um, all that, that type of shit but let's say you go with these rules 14 years old or these type of things right and then you go to America. Now you're in trouble because the age of consent there is not is not 14. It goes into 16 to 18 because certain states are 18, and certain states here there's a better one. Certain states are 17, and others are a uh, 16, right? Where the Edomites live is 16, <laughs> but where Jakes live, it's 18. They think about it because we we would make a lot of children and they don't want that they do not want that right then um, I don't even have to pull this up I just do it because I wasn't really yeah um, here's 13 and 
here's of course uh, 12 and all that, that type of you know but then the UK is like 16 France is 60 15 and Netherlands is 63 but anyway my point of grabbing this is to show you that let's say I have uh, something here you know in uh, Canada a law that is uh, allowed here sorry a law that is not allowed here is allowed here and all these other places right but YouTube controls the law all over the place now that's that's some form of power right so that's what I mean with their they have a lot of power which is uh, being used unrighteously but it's all good because why because the Heavenly Father prophesied this he said this is the last one Job 9 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he the earth is given into the hand of the wicked that's the point Luke 4 and uh, 5 and the devil taking him up into a high mountain high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time like a hologram type vision type and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will I give it if thou therefore wilt worship me all shall be thine and Yahusha answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power and him only shall thou serve because when you worship Satan you're gonna actually you're gonna actually have this you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have big balling type of things, you know. And, um, um, you know, you got these people, your actor. She got these fake uh, persona. She got the what? What is this guy? Actor too or something? I've seen him before. Oh, he's a okay. Well, whatever, dude. All right, I've seen him before. Yeah, you got these athletes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got these. Uh, these people that be throwing up the Baphomet sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he be throwing up the Baphomet signs or whatever. Giving a Masonic handshake and stuff like that. Nobody shakes hands like this, man. Not, not normal. But then, uh, yeah. Yeah, you throwing up the diamond thing. Whatever, man. Whatever. whatever dude right, right, right. so they they, they 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 clearly they sold their souls so that's how they get that that done them fat ass riches right but it's all good you shouldn't be desiring these things of course when you're in the flesh you'd be like well it actually looks like a very big house I would actually almost want to live there but I don't want to live there because I'm thinking of these filthy cave monkeys that will come and and actually demand money from you we will have these type of uh, mansions for ourselves and no one will come and ask us rent on top of that we're gonna ask everybody else rent yeah we're gonna make you pay tribute it's not even rent tribute all these so-called mansions that y'all have with the swimming pool all that that type of nonsense it's all good and great great but none of this is yours all of that you know it's going to be you know they picked up they picked a real messed up day to make the, to take this picture trying to make them look real bad but the house looks horrible actually because of the picture can you imagine if they did this in the fall of summer when the trees were full and it was all green grass they pick Otham to come and take a picture of his uh, abandoned uh, mansion they, 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 they're trying to bully him yep you can clearly see they're trying to bully him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Anyway, they didn't pick a day when the, when the sun was out. You know the, the 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 greenery was showing. They picked a horrible day to go out there and make this picture. That shows you how the devil thinks. He's a slanderer by nature. They're devils. So with that, I'm gonna say shallow. Oh yeah, here. Because it was, uh, I was, I was, uh, mm -hmm. 
right it says here uh, he it says here meme song rapper claims right he claims right claims he's being censored by big tech as pilot investigated for a chant but then what does claim mean claim state or assert that something is the case typically without prof, uh, providing evidence or proof i just gave you the fucking i just gave you the proof youtube is doing it you know all these places and stuff like that but then uh, youtube is deleting it uh, right and then you have canada uh, sorry you have facebook but then i saw this too i saw a plane is promoting his thing wait let me let me get this here let's go brandon bizarre mindless uh, let me see is making his way all over the place you got people wearing the sign of the hat the hat thing you got this you got nascar joining in you got other politicians congressmen wears mask on house floor with no secret message let's go brandon and uh you got a lot of people that uh, are actually supporting the thing and that's why hey, you got here let's go brandon you got the billboards putting it up. Let's go, Brandon. You have, I saw a uh, another billboard with digital words. Here, our body, our choice. Let's go, Brandon. And Brandon is this uh, Negro. Here, this guy, he's a super house Negro. He has the hat on make america great again so you know he, he loved trump i like trump too but i like trump differently i like him because he is a liar i like him he's funny he makes me laugh other than that man i don't give a sh i don't give a hoot nanny about him this guy is on a caesar borgia tip you know he's he's an eater my lover so that's why his song is all of a sudden number one but they took that song down from he's just a house negro man this is just a typical house negro i ain't got no problem with him i mean like you, you do you do you do you i'll do me and i'll keep it at that you know what i'm saying so and, um yeah and, um, he's just a uh he's just a, he's just a, one of those negroes that uh that loves being in a land that hates him he just uh wants america to be great again it's, 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 you know i just see a simple negroid he doesn't want to have his own land and his own thing. He do, he wants to keep on paying rent. He wants to keep on paying for oil. Meanwhile, you have cars with uh, mm. Meanwhile, you have cars that run on water, you know? Think about it. Why would they make it in such a fucked up shape? Because not a lot of people will buy it, you know? But when you have fancy cars, when you have fancy cars like this, you know, beautiful cars like this that run on water. Wait, it's, it's a problem now. Everybody's going to want to have it, you know. Look, look at the beautiful color on this one. I can't see the color good. It's on Facebook and I'm not going to click on it. I wanted to click on it until I saw that it was Facebook. Fuck Facebook. Look at this color. Look at this uh, car. You know, you got beautiful cars up on the planet Earth. And, uh... You got mud black. I would really like, like, I really like this color. I don't like cars, but I really love this color. It is a pretty color to me for a car. You know, and, uh, but but if cars like this ran on water, come on, man. Think, think, think about it. Think about it. They do this one on purpose because they want that infinite uh, cash because you're going to buy oil eventually. You have cars that run on... Uh, <laughs> Since the 1920s, you had cars that ran on electricity. You know, because uh, what you call this guy again? Had an, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tesla. He had a car that had an antenna on it. He had a car with an antenna on it. Car hoax, now they call it a hoax. 
the motor was said to have been run on a cosmic energy yes that's the truth that's the truth because the car this is what the car could do right did Nikola Tesla create a car that uh, could be charged wirelessly yes he did that he put an antenna on the car and then just he gathered the electricity in the air yeah here this is it yes researchers at an American University in, of Massachusetts or whatever have invented a device air gen air power generator that uses a natural protein to create electricity from humidity in it that's exactly what they say that Tesla was a, a, a hoaxing look look how these snake tongue devils Hey man, if you tell me that the Edomites are not snake tongue devils, then you 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 a snake tongue devil yourself, man. They're telling you lies and truth at the same time. Lies and truth at the same time, man. That's a fork tongue. It's a snake tongue devil, man. Cosmic. They 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 they, they use these fancy words cosmic. Then you would think that's some space shit, right? No. It's just electricity in the air, man. Okay? It's the same thing as... Um, it's the same thing as this. How does Moses West machine work? Here. It's called the ath... Uh, atmospheric. Ath... Whatever. That thing. Atmospheric water machine draws the humid. Check this out. The atmospheric water machine draws in humid ambient air. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm gonna better. It's a better explanation. The machine is called an. Uh, is there a machine that turns air into water? The machine is called an atmospheric water generator. It cools humid air until the water transformed from a gas to a liquid otherwise known as condensation the device also needs uh, uh, the device also need a high amount of energy to extract the water right but then you have another one which i just, just read to you which is the so you can get water from the air and you can get electricity from the air right now they're talking about they have worked out how to generate electricity from what? From thin air. That's the same thing that Tesla was doing in the 1920s, man. They've been having it, man. Now they decided to just give it to it, the people. And they're going to charge you crazy for it, too. I bet you're behind. You can bet it. I bet you're, I bet you're behind. They're going to charge you crazy for it. You know, because that's what the devil does. They're always trying to make some money. Always trying to make some money. Right. You know what I'm saying? What the... F what the hell? Okay, you want to bug out? Okay, cool. Leave it, leave it. But, uh, yeah, they worked it out. No, no, no. They've been having that because... Well, let me let me see this fabricated shit. Uh, the hoax. The well, hoax where it says that well, it was a hoax. Where is it? Here, hoax. Okay, let me see. The Nikola Tesla electric car hoax isn't whatever. That refers to a supposed Nikola Tesla invention described by Peter Zabot, who claimed to be a nephew of Tesla, which is 100% truth, to Derek that in 1960 20. Wait, I said about 1920. Uh, sorry, I said 1920, but then, um, that was then another car. Uh, this is 1967. Okay, anyway, going on. Because Nikola Tesla wasn't even around in 1920. Sorry. I mixed two stories together. Sorry about that. Good that I got corrected here. No, no. So Sasavo said that Tesla took him to Buffalo, New York. And yeah, it was fucking... <laughs> it was 1920. Man, I just messed up my whole, my whole and, uh, self. Anyway, sorry about that. And showed him a modified Pierce Arrow car. A modified Pierce Arrow car, which is then this. Sorry about the, the disinformation and information at the same time, whatever. 
right? The Pierce Arrow car, a modified one, right? Tesla, according to the story, had removed the gasoline engine from the car and replaced it with a brushless AC electri electrical motor. The motor was said to have been run by a cosmic energy power receiver. It's just, it's just this thing, man. It's just simply the, where is it? It's just simply this thing, this thing. Here, it's just this thing. That's what it is, okay? They're using these fancy words to, to get you off course. Be like, oh, that's impossible. The cosmic energy power receiver. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just electricity from air. Consisting of a box measuring about 25 inches long by 10 inches wide. The, 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 whatever. The, mm -hmm. the car was said to have been driven for about 50 miles at the speed of the 90 kilometers during an eight-day period. The story has received some debate because the car's propulsion propulsion system is said to have been invented by Tesla. And I'm going to show you a, a video in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. And this is no joke. This is real, right? I'm going to show you something in the description box. I, I, I forgot the word, the name of the thing, but I'm going to show you. And uh, just click on it and it's going to show you something very beautiful. So with that, I'm going to say shalom about about electricity in the air and you could just have infinite energy these devils are lying to you man but all that is going to be given unto us by our basha Shai. so it's good that these devils don't want to share their knowledge with the rest of the the devil nation of theirs <laughs> it's funny as hell so with that i'm saying shalom